A call to action tonight for parents and educators across the state after data from a statewide standardized test given during the spring revealed steep plunges in test scores for K-12 through students across the board. Some estimates show New Jersey students lost about seven years worth of progress during the COVID-19 pandemic when schools were shut down and students were tasked with learning remotely. Overall proficiency rates fell back to 2015 levels. The report card also shows widening racial disparities. Less than 35 percent of Hispanic students and just 30 percent of black students scored passing rates in English language arts. And those numbers dropped even further in math to 19 and 15 percent respectively. Experts say, though, that news isn't surprising. What they're focusing on now is how to help those kids bounce back. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. The scores were not unexpected. I think everybody knew that there would be a decline in scores. But education advocate Betty Ginsburg says few expected to see such deep pandemic-inflicted learning losses in New Jersey. Recently released test results showed the COVID-driven school shutdowns and often haphazard virtual learning took a stark toll on students, apparently erasing years of achievement and widening existing gaps. The challenge, getting kids caught up. We have to be almost like uh, emergency physicians. You know, you do the triage, you figure out what has to be done right away, and then you make a plan for long-term health. And that's what educators across New Jersey did from the first moment school doors opened again. But there's a lot to learn. Last spring, 1.4 million New Jersey students took the statewide assessment tests. Averaged results showed their scores declined compared to pre-pandemic 2019 by almost 9% in English language arts, a similar drop in math, and a two-point drop in science. Hardest hit kids in economically disadvantaged districts and English language learners. And test scores don't show everything, says Paula White of Jersey Can. There were students who uh, were more severely impacted, and a lot of that was predicated upon their uh, station in life, you know, vis-a-vis -vis, um, socioeconomic status, you know, and um, even some of the um, mental health challenges, you know, if they lost a family member to COVID and things of that nature. As New Jersey plans corrective strategies, it can dip into $135 million in federal COVID relief funds. The State Department of Education's announced it's already targeted $10 million to correct learning losses, but White wants even more granular information from the department, data that had let educators compare specific districts and learning plans. Now is not the time for us to be loosey-goosey about all of the issues that we have known for decades matter in education. Now is the time to buckle down, to really focus on research-based strategies. Where are the outliers? What can I learn from the data, right? How can I get kids on this side of the tracks uh, you know, to, to, to learn more like the children that may be, you know, in this other place. White calls teacher and curriculum quality critical to helping kids recover lost learning. Governor Murphy's proposed inviting 5,000 volunteer tutors to support students who need the most help through the Department of Education. Senator Vin Gopal supports so-called high dosage tutoring, intense teaching for small groups. But who will find, train, and deploy all those tutors? Obviously, we've, we've got a teacher shortage, um, and we see the states trying to, to to hire retired educators. We might need to need to go past that. Um, but I think the the more we can bring kids into a smaller setting um, to to be educated, I think can help. But the the, the key is we're we're in a really unique time period with the amount of federal funds New Jersey sitting on. So I just hope that it's being used in a strategic way. Uh, and that, you know, DOE is going to provide regular reports. Squeezing tutoring sessions into already tight school schedules won't be easy. And will they just teach kids to test better? Julie Borst with Save Our Schools hopes to refocus educators away from standardized tests. As a 50,000 foot view, it should maybe be used to guide where public policy goes. But this is not talking about what's happening down in the school and the student level.
She hopes any plans to address learning losses get parents more actively involved, and she warns against rushing policies into motion. We need a little bit of grace in our school systems to let our kids catch their breath and catch up. You know, I, I think we we haven't allowed that. And unfortunately, what happened was we came back and the first thing we met them was with was a standardized test. How was that helpful? I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.